In this lesson, we are going to be looking at how we use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation, okay? Now, in its general form, a quadratic formula, it looks like, it looks like this. x is equal to minus b plus or minus, we're taking the positive or the negative, root, and that's the square root, of b square minus 4ac, okay? And that is all over, and when I say all over, if you note, please, where I'm starting to draw my line, that all of that is over 2a, okay? All of that is over 2a. Let me write my 2 a little bit better. All of that is over 2a. Okay, cool. Now, the quadratic formula and the quadratic equation shares a very unique relationship okay and in future videos i'm going to be looking at the proof of the quadratic formula okay how we derive the quadratic formula from the quadratic equation all right but let's not worry about that for now uh what we're going to be looking at is just how we solve a quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula good now take a simple quadratic uh equation right you may have x squared plus 5x plus 6, and that is equal to 0 because we're using equations now. We're solving equations, right? So a would be equal, first we identify our a, a is 1, b is equal to 5, and our c is equal to 6 okay so now in solving my formula states that x squared if I'm using my formula to solve oops let me not use a red because the red can be a little bit strenuous on the eyes right so let me say x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over it's all over 2a basically what i'll be doing here i am just going to substitute and solve for x okay guys so let's just work with me carefully here now good this is pretty easy and i think after you have worked a few of them you will find it to be fun okay so now basically what i'm saying here I am saying x, and remember, when you're solving a quadratic equation, you must get two values for x, okay? So, x is equal to minus, and I'm substituting, what is b? So, minus, open bracket, b is 5, okay? So, I'm going to have a 5 plus or minus the square root and of b squared, and b is 5, again, so I'm going to say 5, but I'm going to square it, because b is squared there. And that is being subtracted from 4, open bracket, and what is a? 4 is multiplying a, so I'm going to substitute the value of a for a. a is 1, and I'm going to close my bracket. Let me extend this a little bit more. And I'm going to multiply that by c, okay? And what is c? c is 6. Okay, guys? Good. Now, if you look carefully what is happening here now, all I did, oh, well, if you're not familiar with brackets, these brackets, brackets beside each other means to multiply, okay? And four, this means 4 times A times C, good? Now, all of this is all over 2, and I'm saying 2 times what is A. We had a 1 for A, okay? And it's that easy. So all we're going to do now is to simplify and solve, okay? So we have x is equal to when a negative sign is in front of a a, 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 a bracket, it simply means that I want the opposite of what is inside the bracket. So since it's a positive 5 inside the bracket, it simply means I'm going to need a negative 5, okay? And that is plus or minus the square root. And I'm squaring 5, so I'm saying 5 times 5, and that would give me 25, okay? And I'm saying 4 minus, remember that's a minus 4. So I'm saying minus 4 ones 4, and 4 6 is 24, okay? 
so I'll have a negative 24 there and that is all over 2 times 1 is 2 okay it's that easy and let's just simplify this a little bit more okay I'm just walking you through it step by step so that you are clear as to what you're doing okay guys so I'm saying now x is equal to this is a negative 5 plus or minus okay the square root of 25 minus 24 I would have a positive 1 okay and that is all over 2 cool now <clears throat> let me just pull this up a little bit more because we need the space to work with okay so basically I'm going to have to simplify what I have here now guys so I'm going to get x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus and we know that the square root of 1 and you can always check that on your calculator plug in this sign and then you type 1 and you press the equal sign alright and the square root of 1 is 1 and that is all over 2 okay so now since I've gotten rid of my square root sign now and I have minus 5 plus or minus 1 all over 2 then simply this is easy in what I'm going to say now I'm going to say and look at what I'm doing I'm going to split the negative and the positive sign now I am going to say x is equal to minus 5 this minus 5 and I'm going to use my plus sign here plus 1 and I'm going to put all of that over 2 okay uh, and then I'm going to say or or let me change the color let's use let's use a white for that or a purple okay I'm going to say x is equal to same negative 5 negative 5 but in this case here I use a positive sign so now I'm going to use my negative sign okay negative 1 cool all over 2 so all I'm going to do I'm just going to simplify this so over here now I would have x is equal to negative 5 minus 1 I would get a minus 4 over 2 okay which is equal to 2 divide negative 4 divided by 2 will give me a negative 2 okay because a negative divided by a positive will give me a negative and 4 divided by 2 is 2 and also over here now I would have x is equal to when the signs are the same we add and we keep our sign so I have a negative 5 and a negative 1 so I'm going to say 5 plus 1 will give me a 6 but if you notice it's two negative numbers I I added so I'm going to put my negative sign back and that is over 2 so this also will work out to be a negative number okay so I will have a negative because a negative divided by a positive will give me a negative and 6 divided by 2 will give me 3 and those are my answers okay guys it's that easy so again you notice we got two answers x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 3 okay feel free to subscribe to this channel so that you can get the latest updates on our videos or if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks and bye bye